I'm Brian Batista, and my friends call me Bunny. And I'm in Claire's home uh, working on a mural at the Ring Rose Park. There's the sign up there. And I just want to thank you for joining me. Uh, stay to the end, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and all those wonderful things. This is episode 84, Claire's Home Mural. Maestro Doug Dredeger, seen in his natural habitat. Exactly nice to meet you. Oh, I You just get the hands and you draw crisp lines. I mean, you can feather it. I feel incredibly fortunate to have these opportunities to work with such fantastic and accomplished artists like Doug D and Elena Bouchan. This truly is a dream team. And even though I'm the lowest on the rung, I'm basically the mural bitch. But I had set out with the goal in mind this summer to accomplish more work learning the craft of mural painting. I'm hustling and pushing my aging, aching body to the brink of noodling. Moving scaffold, doing innumerable ladder reps, and covering as much square footage with a brush as I can in the shortest period of time. As I have so little time on this project before I have to go back to Calgary to teach animation classes. The people of Claire's home are wonderfully supportive of our efforts. They're walking by and sharing their well wishes of approval on our beautification project. In fact, the Tim Hortons manager, Chris, just the other day insisted on buying us breakfast because right now, we're famous in this town. Wow. I'll try not to let it get to my head after I leave town, of course. I guess whatever your challenges will be test. It may be obvious to my viewers that mural work is seasonal and weather dependent. And although it's summer, we were surprised by strong winds and some rainstorms. We weren't entirely prepared for anything. And a few of the days on this project were beyond the regular temperatures expected. And it became hard to work as our bodies dripped with sweat, our brains slowed to a snail's pace, and the paint dried rapidly, but we got everything on the plan marked out so that Elena and I could block in as much basic color upon which to work. Working first as high as we could, and while we had borrowed scaffold and ladder planks, and working our way down, covering the drips along the way should they run down the wall. Some of the paint applied with a roller but most done traditionally with a brush. I'm getting plenty of practice on my effects and creating the illusion of distance and atmosphere, all while doing it with high, high chroma. I'm putting in a lot more color than I usually would for realism, but this is more imaginative for power and impact over subdued illusion. I had color beaten out of me in Europe and now I have to put it back in. Who better to learn from than Elena and Doug, the masters of impactful color application. So now you've been given a little peek behind the glitz and glamour of a finished piece to some of the process and dirty work it takes to make a large mural. I hope if ever you drive by Claire's home, 
Instead of going by, you stop in and take a view of the work on display and support the local community and shops. Thank you for joining me to the end. And this is the end. The light is starting to go down. And this is my last night on this project. I'm going back into Calgary to teach a week-long animation camp at Quick Draw Animation Society. So from Claire's home, hey wait, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. And uh, I think from Claire's home saying farewell. That's it for now. Ciao.